this is the issue that everybody got with us. And it's clear as day that ain't nobody fixing nothing in the streets. Hold that before we get there. What's your name, bro? What's his name? Romain, where you grow up at in Milwaukee? Silver Spring used to hoop at McGuff. I, I, mem I remember you, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't been up in McGuff a couple times. I gotta ask you a serious question. You heard about Israelites before? You know who they is today? Yeah. Who? You watch us every day? So now what you waiting on? Deuteronomy 10 and 12. What you waiting on? How you, what's your name again? Romaine. Romaine? Yeah. Okay, Romaine. I want you to understand, this is what's required of us. Once we come into this knowledge and we understand that we Israelites, it's something that we gotta do. We can't just sit and say, all right, I know I'm an Israelite, but then don't follow behind the, and have the actions that consist of being an Israelite, right? So like perfect example, if somebody say they're a firefighter, but then they never go out and put a damn fire out, you're gonna be like, bro, you ain't no damn firefighter, right? So when we say, okay, our people, a lot of our people understand that, hey, yeah, I know I'm an Israelite, but now it's rules that you gotta follow. Cause once you start changing, he changed, he changed, he changed, I changed. Now that's just one brother at a time. It's gonna be some brothers like you that stand and listen, and then it's gonna be some brothers like Mo, bro, uh, bro, and he just ran off and left for some ribs. And you finna go put more money in the same people pockets that did this to you. Bring it up. Right, watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel. Oh, now what? Oh, now Israel. So if I see a whole bunch of blacks and Hispanics, it says, oh, now Israel, read. What does the Lord, thy God, require of thee? I got a question, y'all. What does God require of us? Romaine, you the only one that's hearing it. Only person that's listening. Watch this. But to fear God. Do what? To fear the Lord, thy God. Uh -huh. To walk in all his ways and to love him. I ask you, I guarantee you can ask a lot of people in this parking lot, do they love God? They're going to say yes, absolutely. But then when you show them what love is according to the Bible, that's how you're going to see who really do and who really don't. Because if you love God, what you going to do? You're going to keep his commandments. You know that already. Watch this. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. So it says to keep the commandments of the Lord. I'm going to ask you this. Is the, is the way you dress, do God care about that? He do? So what you supposed to be having on? Oh, you know you supposed to have fringes on already. Hey, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, bro, ain't nothing wrong with that. I remember when I first heard about it, I ain't had no fringes for like my first three weeks. A brother had to give me a shirt with fringes on it. I came in messed up. I was like, hey, I don't even know where to get them from. Right. But that's why it's the importance for us to gather ourselves together. So you ain't doing it by yourself. You know about our brothers right here? This brother will see me and look at me different. He'll be like, hey, he'll look at me different if I ain't have fringes on. Right. He'll be like, bro, where your fringes at? I got you. You need a shirt? Because I want you to not get destroyed. I don't want you to get put to death. And the guy said he's going to kill us if we don't have them fringes on. I'm going to show you. Uh, Zephaniah 1 and 8. So you know about fringes, right? I'm going to show you what God going to do for not us not having fringes on. Watch this. This is why I want you to get some. And if you can't get none, get around your brothers. And that's why we help each other out. Watch this. This is the book of Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass. See that? It said it shall come to pass. I mean, it's, it's coming for you, Romain. In that day of the Lord's sacrifice, uh -huh. that I will punish the princes. So in the day of the Lord's sacrifice, we're going to be punished. There's going to be a lot of bloodshed. A lot of people are going to get put to death. And guess what? They being led falsely by these churches. They being lied to. And the only person that, uh, like, if you just look at the churches, look at that church right there. It's the biggest building in the ghetto. Their church damn near bigger than Walgreens. Three. That I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such that are clothed with strange apparel. Wait, what? With strange apparel. So in a strange apparel is when you ain't got your fringes on. When sisters wearing pants. Bring when you up. dressing like anything outside of how God commanded his children to. You got kids? You got a daughter? Okay, you got a son? Okay, he too, right? You got two sons. Now, hold on, bro. I got you because I, I can already see it in this face. Hey, if you if you had your sons, don't you got rules on how they should dress? Like if your son came out the house or walked around, how old is they? 
ten and eight. If your son was walking around in some heels and some damn fishnet stockings, you go, you go. Well, it's strange, right? Yeah. What you gonna do to him? Yeah, right, you gonna yank him? You gonna yank him? <laughs> hey, don't, don't, don't hurt him too bad, bro. Hey, but I'm telling you, that's what God gonna do. It's gonna put a spirit on you where you gonna be infuriated. You gonna be like, get you. What the hell? You gonna trip, right? So number fifteen thirty eight, just cause I quoted it. Now you see, God gonna be the same way. He's, we all say we the children of God, right? We, we act like God don't give a damn about what we do, what we say, what we eat, how we dress. We, the, God, the way that the modern Christians today paint the image of God, guess what? They make it seem like he's just the most irresponsible father on the planet. He just don't give a damn what his kids do. But that's not biblical. Because even ourselves, while we in this flesh, we make sure everything our kids do, we be on them. The ones that's responsible parents, right? Read this. Let's look at Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Huh? Speak unto the children of Israel. And bid don't, don't worry about that, bro. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, don't let nothing distract you. Something going to happen to where now that you listening right. and you caught in, a, a brother will bump you, your phone will get hit, uh, uh, your, he, people hit you up on your phone. Regardless of whatever it is, Romaine, don't let nothing distract you, bro. I'm telling you. Come on. Up. Speak out to the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So you got to make fringes like how you know, Reed. Throughout their generations. Uh -huh. And that they put upon the fringe. So now on top of the fringes, Reed. Of the borders, a ribbon of blue. Soldier James, show him your shirt right there, not your garment, your shirt. So you see that shirt, how it got fringes on with a border of blue? Those are commandments of God, Sirach 1929. And that's why he said you're supposed to have fringes on. These are, these are to remind you of the keeping of the commandments. Watch this, though. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 29. Uh -huh. A man may be known by his look. So it says, calm down. A man will be known by his look. Like you know a police officer based off of how they what? How they dress. So how I know Romaine believe in God, that he an Israelite, that he don't smoke weed, that he don't get drunk, that he doesn't have sex outside of marriage. You are gonna be having the, the, the actions that God commands us to present. Right. You got to say, hey, you know what? A man known by his look. I know that that's an Israelite because this brother, what? He got a beard on his face. He got his fringes on. He know his nationality. He don't sag his damn pants. Three. Right. And one that hath understanding by his confidence uh -huh. when thou meetest him. A man's attire. Says a man's attire. Romaine, I know you smart, bro. What's attire? Yo, clothes. So it says a man's attire and excessive laughter uh -huh. and gait show what he is. So it says a man's attire shows what he is. So if, a, like, I can, like, they say don't judge a book by its cover. The Bible just told you the way that you dress, how you present yourself, they let me know what you is. So how do you know a HOE? How you know a hoe? Because she dressed like one. You know what, because she dressed like one. Yeah. She show her body off. So how do I know a homosexual? They dress like, you just know because of how they dress. Read 30 again. A man's attire. A man's clothing. And excessive laughter. And the brothers that's always laughing and giggling and playing. You ever had somebody like that growing up? It's just a brother that think everything damn funny. Yeah. And that's what happened to our people today. They always laughing, giggling, thinking it's funny. Hold on, bro. And gate, uh -huh. show what he is. So now you have an infringer zone. That's gonna show what you is. That you a man of the Lord. That you an Israelite. That you Zephaniah two and one. Now you gotta understand. As Israelites, it's more to it, bro. Cause we in a spiritual fight right now. Your flesh gonna be fighting and wanna stay in sin. Wanna smoke weed. Wanna sell drugs. Wanna go out and do whatever their lifestyle was doing. But now it's like your spirit, like, but I gotta get right with God. Cause if not, I'ma get put to death. That's the whole thing. That's what we want you to understand, Romaine. It's requirements. And when you got these fringes on, you sending the message. You are identifying. It's a representation of who you are, what you stand for, and what you believe in. And who you are, uh, who you who you belong to. Guess what? This man right here, he don't care about what you dress. This man right here will tell you put on a thong, fish nest with some heels, and call yourself a transgender. But the God of the Bible going to uh, kill you for that. That's what we try to do, give our people warning. Watch this. This book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, 
Gather together. So you see that? It says, gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together. That's what black people don't know how to do. We know how to do it when it's time for a barbecue, when it's time for Easter bunnies. When it, and, bun, and Easter bunnies don't even lay eggs. You don't even be thinking about what you're doing. You're just celebrating it because you have been lost and you are destroyed. Read. Oh, nation, not desire. What God say? Oh, nation, not desire. I know a bunch of blacks and Hispanics that are not desired. And the only way that you're going to be desired or, or that you're going to come together is when we come back to God's laws. That's the only way we get getting out of here. Because we all did tried to come together. We tried to do it during the Million Man March. What happened? If you telling me a million man march and this what's left after that, look at the trash on the ground, bro. A million man march and we still got, look at, look at what kids have to grow up and look at. Every decision you make go impact your children and the rest of your community and ultimately everybody on that sign right there, the 12 tribes of Israel. We tired of seeing brothers dying. We tired of seeing the George Floyds. We tired of brothers dying on 37th and Villa. Then next down the block on Hope, he two of them us got shot. Then down there on Burlock, fire year old gets shot in his head. Is that what you call living? What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with 